Welcome to Make It Take It. I'm DC. I just capped off a great NFL playoff weekend. Both of my teasers came out in my last video. Actually, one came out and I had a push on Buffalo, which deferred that to a straight play. And St. Brown's touchdown came out. But I'll link that video in the description because that's how I keep everything, track of everything. That's how I keep my record and all that good stuff. I didn't have a video yesterday, so I'm coming back with five college basketball plays today. I'm your mid-major guide, so come on, let me know what you like in the comments. I'm trying to pick up more NHL and NBA, so put them down low, like my video, and let me get into my plays. I've talked about the MAC conference several times this year and how their series against each other take on a whole new life. Case these two games I have. Ball State at Buffalo. The line's two and a half. Ball State's a 500 team this year, nine and nine. Buffalo's only two and 15. They have a disappointing season, but they won nine out of the last 10 in this series against Ball State. So the line is only two and a half. I'm going Buffalo, keep traditions going, by and a half point up to three. If anything, this is going to be a close game. So they play at Buffalo. Kent State. At Bowling Green. It's another MAC matchup. And we have two records that are Kent State 9 and 9, Bowling Green 14 and 4. On covers.com, 76% of the public, it says, is on Bowling Green. But I'm looking at Kent State here, plus the points. They've won the last eight against Bowling Green. And like I say, in the MAC conference, it seems like I've talked about a few times this year, tradition keeps going. Kent State has a higher Ken Palm ranking, and even though they're on the road, I like them to pick up at least that bucket, and I think this is a great teaser game, a MAC teaser. Buffalo up, Kent State up. So if you're looking to tease, that's my way to go today. Missouri Valley Conference, another one of my favorite conferences. Evansville at Northern Iowa. This time of year, we see, we've seen it in, in the history of the Missouri Valley, Teams that started off good start to fall off, and teams like Northern Iowa and Southern Illinois, who are always there, start to rise. And Northern Illinois won eight out of their last ten. Their record's eight, 11 and eight now, and they started off not that good. Now Evansville, they started off great, right at 11 and two at one point, I think. Now they're 11 and eight. They lost their last five, and in Missouri Valley play now, they keep getting these double-digit lines, and they're not covering. So even though these two teams have the same record. It's a 12-point line, and I'm going with Northern Iowa to keep that up today. Then we have uh, Mountain West Conference. Two games in the Mountain West. Air Force, UNLV. UNLV is an 11-point favorite right now. Air Force just simply can't score, especially on the road. We see them scoring in the 40s. And even though UNLV is not having the greatest of seasons, I say they get it done at the Thomas and Mack Center. I'm laying the 11 points at UNLV. And I'm laying the other big points in the Mountain West with San Diego State. Went to the championship game last year. They started off pretty decent. They're a big favorite over Wyoming. I don't know how many they've won in a row, but they won at least 10. I, when I go to covers, shows the last 10, and San Diego State's won all those, and most of them covered. So I'm keeping with San Diego State, minus 16. So that's my five plays and a possible teaser that I'm going to do. Like my video. Let me know games that you like. If you like college basketball, that's my place for today. Thank you for watching. Good luck today.